All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, the topic which I want to speak about now is what's happening in Israel. If you go to your browser, you will see how many TV stations, newspapers, websites is speaking about what it's called the war or the attack of the Israeli on the civilian in Gaza. You know, they used to say that the media is controlled by the Jews. That's what they say. Your credit card is controlled by the Jews. Pepsi Cola is owned by the Jews. I mean, everything is owned by the Jews. But they will not tell you that, as an example, the owner of Facebook, who is a Jew, he is a pro Hamas, and he support the terrorist against Israel. They will not tell you that George Soros, who is a Jew, he is an anti-Israel. So what is behind that the Jews, the Jews, the Jews? The, the point is to make you hate the Jews. All the rich ones which we know, they are anti-Israel. If you watch CNN, you will think you are watching a Jazeera, which owned by the Prince of Qatar, who is the leader of Hamas, at least in financial way. If we scroll down, you will see how the news is mentioned upside down. <clears throat> they will say to you, yesterday alone, the Jews, which mean Israel, killed 60 civilian Palestinian. I mean, obviously, those Jews are really doing crimes against the humanity. And that will be seen in all over newspapers and magazine in Europe, in America. And yet they keep telling us that the Jews are controlling the media. Have you ever heard of a Jew who controlled the media but he attacked himself? Do you see how much control they have? Now, what is really happening there is totally opposite from what you see in the media. What they report for you that tens of thousands of civilians trying to cross the border to Israel. Okay. And who are they, those civilians? They will say to you, those are just you know, civilians, and there's even some children. And who is behind the, this organization, which like organizing this movement to walk to Israel? It's Hamas. Okay. So if you are an Israeli soldier, and you have people believe that every Jew should be killed. And I'm not exaggerating. This is what the Muslims believe. This is the words of their prophet saying, as you see in the front of your eyes. The Muslims have a mission, and the mission will not be accomplished unless they kill every Jew. And the Jews are not stupid. They knew what the Muslims believe. If you go right now and search for speeches made by all Muslim leaders against the Jews, that we should eliminate them, we should kill them, we should throw them in the ocean. And the most important is what Muhammad and what his God said, because as you know, those Muslims, they worship Muhammad as God. Allah Apostle said the hour will not be established until you fight with the Jews and the stone behind Which as a Jew will be hiding will say oh Muslim There is a Jew Hiding behind me So kill him This is what those people you call them civilian believe in so now we have 10,000 quote-unquote civilian 
they went across the border to Israel and the 10,000 civilian they believe oh Muslim there is a Jew behind me or this the rock will say to them there is a Jew hiding behind me kill him now you are a Jew and you know that those people they will they are not only wishing your death they are willing to kill you and slaughter you like a chicken so what you will do all the terrorist attack happened in Europe happened by civilian just yesterday actually Sunday three Muslim families in Indonesia each one of them is a mother and the father and the children's and all the children's are youth they are children's you know even some of them they are seven years old and one is nine years old girl they rounded bombs around themselves and they enter into a church killing tons of Christians now if the Christian in the church they shot at those terrorists they will say they killed civilian and children's this is what the media try to say to you that those are civilian but the truth is those are terrorists and they are attacking a state trying to intimidate them using the Western media and the propaganda of the Western media which is very stupid to convince you that they are just asking for justice if we ask ourselves the land there is the land of who the Muslim they will say to you this is the land of the Muslims well the Quran say different story even the book of the Abdul don't agree with the Abdul the Quran says and I will show you from the Quran that this is the land of the Jews imagine even the Quran the book of the devil admit that this is the land of the Jews wait with me let me zoom out chapter 5 verse number 20 number uh, 21 you can read any translation you wish it doesn't matter really at the end of the day all Muslim translation is false but I still use it so they will not accuse me that I'm fabricating a translation this is Allah speaking about Musa saying to the Muslim remember Musa remember Musa said to his people all oh, my people call in remembrance of the favor of Allah unto you when he produced prophets among you made you kings and gave you what you had not given to any other among the people so the Quran confirmed that the Jews are the favorite for Allah at least at that time and then Allah told Musa to tell his people oh my people enter the holy land which Allah has assigned into you now who is the one is saying that this is the holy land assigned to the Jews that is the God of the Muhammadan so how in the world you Muslim want to say that this is your land since when if we open Islamic websites Islamic books Ibn Kathir whatever you want you will see the Muslims admit and agree that even Jerusalem built by the Jews the Muslims agree and they say according to their source that it was built by Suleiman and David and who is Suleiman and David are they Muslims are they Hindus are they American are they European they are the Jews so what is the interest of those Muslims to storm the borders of Israel because you know we need to ask I mean what the purpose of this they knew that the Israeli will not let them go through so what the point the point is Hamas is willing to sacrifice a thousand ten thousand who care they're women they have babies like you know like crazy 
They lay eggs, they don't give birth. People have no jobs. Nobody go to school, nobody have a job. Everybody there live by the assistance of the United Nations and the tax of the American and the donation of the stupid European. This is the truth. Their electricity, their bread, their books, their food, even their tuna is paid by you. They said to them, okay, tomorrow we are going to storm the, the Israeli border, but they knew exactly what would happen. But still, they will send the children in the front line so the Israeli, who they cannot trust anyone because, as I say to you, you just go check right now. You know, we are not making things up. The day that the, the, the attack happened just last Sunday, less than 48 hours ago. Of families with their children attacking Christian churches. I made the videos before about Hamas hiring children to do suicide bombing. And I call it at that time the uh, the beauty of Hamas and the ugly Israel. Now for sure the name is kind of deceiving, right? I name it this way because if I name it the ugly Hamas and the beauty of Israel. YouTube will take my video down. So I give a different name and the Muslims start watching it like crazy because the name is good for them. But the fact what is inside is the opposite. If we go right now, let me show you. Just trying to find the reference. All right. Read with me carefully. We don't like to say things without proof. Family of suicide bombers attack three churches. And by the way, the second day, a family of suicide bomber attack a police station. Family, family. You know what family means? Children's. They send their children with bombs. The father, the mother, the daughters, and the sons. Each family have about six or seven members. They storm a Christian church during the service in Sunday. But those are civilian. I mean, the Muslim themselves, they are civilian, are they? Yes, they are. They are. There is a there, the, one of them, she is six years old or seven years old. So if you are an Israeli and you have a seven years old Muslim entering your border and he have a bomb around himself, what you should do? Give him a hug? How you can trust those people to get close to you? All the stabbing attack happened by what they call them civilian. Women, go and watch the videos. Women, they are even in the age of 60 and 70. She get closer to the soldier or even to as an Israeli woman. And she asks her, where we go to this direction? And the poor Israeli starts showing them like you go here, take you take right, etc. Giving direction. And when he is busy looking at the other side to show him the direction or to show her the direction, she, you know, she grab her knife from under the burqa and she starts stabbing the person in front of her just because that person is a Jew. Then we will find not only the media is lying to us, you will find that there is a lot of stupid ignorant who they are supporting the terrorists between the famous names. This is a website, it's called ranker.com. <clears throat> ranker.com. And the info is down in the page. Those famous, what they call them, uh, celebrity, whatever you call them. I mean, for me, they are a bunch of idiots. If you became a famous, does not mean you are a, you are a genius. 
most of those people they became a famous for a reason have nothing to do with you being skilled with something real an actor an artist someone he strips she strips she show her body the other one she have a beautiful voice the other one I, I mean what are they really exactly what they produce to humanity we saw in the last year the scandals of Hollywood where we find that most of those famous they do have sex just to get a job rapist child molesters hookers and yet they claim dignity so why I want to listen to someone just because she is famous and she said to me free Palestine what Palestine and who is capturing Palestine stupidity is amazing the more you are stupid just because you are famous you can say anything anything I mean you are funny and you are cute just say something stupid imagine you are a Jew and you open your TV station and you hear people saying every morning death to America death to Israel and not only that the Muslims believe that the Jews are the sons of the pigs and the monkeys go right now and search the sons of the pigs and the monkeys this is what the Muslims believe and where is this belief is coming from It's coming from the Quran Quran says that the Jews are animals and they are pigs and monkeys and they are filthy and they are dirty and they are the enemy of Allah even Muhammad he described them as rats and he think Allah he made the rats out of them And this is why Muhammad he considered killing rats is like a holy duty. Let me show you what Muhammad said. We don't say things from our mind, you know. We don't say things like we don't we don't make a claim. Let us see. Hmm. Read with me. The prophet said a group of Israelists were lost. Nobody knows what they did, but I did not see them except that they were cursed and changed into rats. Imagine if I say that to the Muslims. What those imagine if a Christian priest or a Christian uh, bishop or the Pope of the Catholic he says. Uh, such a thing about the Muslims what you would think will happen all those celebrity and all the scumbag in the world they will say look at this fascist disgusting but they will not tell you the truth that this is what the Muslims believe of the Jews they will not tell you that every Muslim support Hitler and actually Hitler is their hero and actually the Muslim they fought in his army they fought with him side by side This is the truth. And those stupid liberals, including, by the way, Jewish liberals. I mean, actually, the Jewish liberals are the worst. The Jewish liberals are the worst, are, the, are, are really, really the most stupid ones. You live as a Jew. In an ocean of population counting billions and you are just a six million state two million of them 
are Arab and you try to survive and yet you are the criminal how come we did not see any of those celebrity condemn the killing of the Jews by stabbing women and children how come we don't hear them how come we don't see anyone complain of them two months ago the filthy Erdogan control a territory of the Kurdish the Kurdish are Muslims Killing as many as he wish Erdogan himself announced that he eliminated more than 3,000 Kurdish I did not hear the mr. John Stewart Making uh, a comment I did not hear this mad woman making a comment to free a foreign Why why if they kill the Kurdish it's okay, and why the Muslim don't strike? Why we don't see any of the Arab? And the Muslims around the world strike and say shame a crime happened to, you know a couple of thousand of Kurdish is, is slaughtered Including women Go and see the video how they capture a Kurdish woman and they cut her chest and they, they took the, her heart and they cut her breast And she is a Muslim just because she is not a Muslim for them because she is a Muslim by name Those Kurdish don't pray to Allah. So they are kuffar they are Muslim by name, but they don't follow Allah no more, so they can kill them. Not a single Muslim, he is upset from killing the Kurdish. Where is this guy from Afrin? Why we don't see those celebrity speaking about the crimes of the Turkish? And Erdogan today announced that we should, as a Muslims, gather urgently to protect the Palestinian when he is still and his army is still killing Syrian Kurdish in Syria it's okay to kill Kurdish but it's not okay to kill Palestinian according to Erdogan so those people when they say things to you are not the one to listen to they are a bunch of idiots. They have no idea what's going on. This war is not about Israel and Palestinian. This war is about Islam and non-Muslims. You see, when the Turkish occupied the Middle East for more than 400 years, not a single Muslim complained. Do you know that Egypt was controlled for more than a thousand and two hundred years by non-Egyptian Which mean Muslims who they are not Egyptian you believe it and nobody complain It is not an occupation The second the English came in those are kuffar the Albanian taking over them, it's okay. The Arab taking over them, it's okay. The, Kur the, the Turkish take over them, it's okay. The English, kuffar. So if you want to get your news and you want to get what is right from those crazy, stupid people who have no idea, what is the education of this girl? How old is she? What she knows about what it's called Palestine? What you know about the problem? What is the problem? What is, what is is the source of the problem? Is it really Israel? Is Israel the problem? If I show you where is the problem coming from, you will not believe it. The problem is coming from the Quran. The problem is from the Muslim themselves. According to the Quran, and read carefully, I don't say things without proof. 
Allah he ordered the Jews to kill the Palestinians Allah he ordered the Jews to kill the Palestinian it's in the front of you are you blind oh my people enter the holy land which Allah has assigned into you and turn not back turn back in what in war the Jews according to Allah they refused to do jihad and to kill the Palestinian they said which means the Jews they said to Moses in this land our people exceed in strength never shall we enter it until they leave it however by the way take a note those Hamas are not the Palestinian they're, 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 there's no Palestinian no more there Hamas are Arab Arab they enter they enter Jerusalem after Islam before that date before Omar al-Khattab he entered Jerusalem there was not a single Arab and nobody speak Arabic there just take a note about that so when they say we are Palestinian, they are not Palestinian. When, when a Muslim, he say, I am from Iraq, he is not an Iraqi. Iraq is the land of the Assyrian and the Babylon. When a Muslim, he says, I am an Egyptian, he is not an Egyptian. This is the land of the Egyptian. The Egyptian, they have their own language and they, have, they are different ethnic. They are not an Arab. What is the name of Egypt today? The Arab Republic of Egypt. What the heck? How the, how the Egyptian African became Arab? Because you cannot be an African. The Arab will dominate and will take over. If you ask an Algerian, what are you? He will say, I'm an Arab. Algerian, you are an Arab? You are an African. Since when? Tunisia, Libya, you name it. Imagine even the Somalian who they are dark-skinned people, they claim that they are Arab. Just because those this religion humiliate you if you try to be proud about your ethnicity you have to say i'm an arab the only thing you can belong to is to be a slave of the arab muhammad he said the one who is proud about his inheritance which means your ethnic your tribe where are you coming from tell him go and bite the penis of your father go and tell him go and bite the penis of your father The story in front of us stating the problem. The problem is the Muslim believe that it's okay to kill the Palestinians. It is Allah who ordered Moses to go and kill the Palestinians according to the Quran. The Jews, they said, no, we will not. So what Allah do? Read here carefully, please. But among them, among who? The Jews. There was only two fearing men, only two men from the Jews, they want to do jihad. Allah called them fearing men. Remember, the one who, who want to kill the Palestinians, Allah called them fearing men. They are good men. We are two on whom Allah had bestowed his grace, which means on them. They said, assault them. I sold them at the proper gate. They want to go and kill the Palestinian and Allah praising those two heroes. That is the truth, my friend. This is the story everywhere. The Muslims, wherever they go, they do, they, they make the Arab dominate. You go to Pakistan, you will see you know you see the people there, they start using their Arabic names. Arabic text, or I mean everything is Arabic. Allah Himself is an Arab. Muhammad is the best of mankind, he is an Arab, and the best of mankind is his family, and he is the best of mankind. That's what Muhammad said. It's a pure racist fascist religion. If you go in the hadith, the Muslims not only they believe that they have to kill every Jew. The Muslims, according to Islam, they have a duty to enslave every human being. Every single human being with no exception. Read with me carefully. This is a fascist cult. Hitler, 
is a very nice guy compared to Muhammad and this religion. Imagine if I say to the Christians, you Christians are the best of mankind. Okay. All right. What does that mean exactly? You see the Muslim, they say to you, the Jews, they say they are the best of mankind. Hmm. I just showed you that Allah is the one who said that. Allah favored them. In the same chapter we are reading from, chapter 5, verse number 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, read it. Allah changed his mind because the Jews refused to kill the Palestinian, refused to do jihad. Allah made them lose their way in the desert for 40 years for they refused to kill the Palestinians because only two Jewish agree to go and do jihad and slaughter the Christian, the, 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 the Palestinian. So what Allah did, Allah said, therefore, will the land be out of your reach for 40 years? 40 years. Allah punished the Jews not to enter into the land, the holy land, which is assigned to them for 40 years because they refused to kill the, the, the Palestinians. This is in the Quran. Do the celebrity which they show you their faces and sometimes their asses in TV. Tell you that? Explain to you that? Or they are a bunch of donkeys who lie to you and lie to themselves. Who all what they know, they see army in uniform and people wearing jeans and those supposedly are civilians. So you know what? We have to take the side of the civilian. This is the mentality of the donkeys. Hiding the truth from you. Now, if we go and see the fascist, the fascist religion, not only they want to kill the Jews, they have a duty to enslave every one of us. The Quran says to the Muslims, You are the best of the people ever raised for the benefit of mankind. By the way, it doesn't say the benefit, but the Muslim they put it between two brackets to make it look nicer. The Muslims are the best of mankind. Why? Read with me carefully why. The best for mankind are those. Are those who bring them with the chain around their necks till they embrace us now. Did those or do those stupid celebrity know this? That every Muslim believe in such a fascist, demonic, filthy, hateful, violent religion that they have a duty not only to bring the Jews and they have a chain around their neck to bring you, all of you. Somebody is just posting that the, the beautiful believers of Allah, they attack the headquarters of the Indonesian police. Imagine even, even police, police, they are under the threat of this cult. Even police, they want to kill every police. What kind of faithy religion this religion is? Actually, I see it in the front of me. You are right. This is a uh, fresh news. Guys, read with me. I feel sorry for this country. This is two days ago. Let me see if there is something now. Because you said this is now, right? Let me check how I can filter. Hold on. Um, look like it's not showing yet in the internet. Yeah, now I see it. Two minutes ago. Here we go.
let us see that doesn't show yet the attack you are reporting they are shown here this is 59 52 meter go uh, two meter go bombs found in the home Indonesian release blah, blah, blah. yeah I don't see that uh, the, the the news uh, anyway if, if if you have an update let me know please so I can show it in this in the screen but I will not be surprised if this is happening right now If a female and she is a mother of four kids and she walk into a police station in Israel and the Israeli soldier now he see a woman and she have some babies with her like six seven years old there's no way he's going to shoot and why he will shoot my friends the Muslim don't respect the life of children their own children, they slaughter them just to kill the enemy. They are rounding. There is videos in, in YouTube about the war in Syria. Imagine, imagine a filthy sheikh. He made a video. He made a video. His daughter, she is five years old. He put a bag in her back, school, you know, school back, you know, back, back school, you know, school one, and he sent her inside the police station and he hit the cell phone and he boom, he sent his own daughter to death this is a very satanic filthy demonic religion this is bigger than what you can imagine this demonic religion is going so far beyond your imagination and then they want to say to you the Israeli are bad people. They are not bad people. I am an Arab. I am saying the truth. It sounds weird that an Arab guy is saying what he is saying about Israel. But this is the truth. Why me as an Arab don't want to kill the Jews? The answer is very simple. First, I'm not stupid. Second, I understand that this is their land. Third, I am not a Muslim, which is the most important. Why I want to kill the Jew? Honest to God, guys, first time I saw a Jew, first time ever I saw a Jew, I was looking if you have a tail because this is what they told us in the school that they are ugly disgusting always in the TV they show you a Jew he have like a he have a nose like fake nose of like you see those nose they use them for the witch you know what I mean you know to make somebody ugly you know like uh, so they make a, a such a makeup to show you the Jew that he is a filthy, disgusting, he have no self-respect, he offer his daughter to sleep with everybody just to make money. Uh, uh, they are they are just a bunch of garbage. Uh, they are ugly. I mean, you, you name it. First time I saw a Jew, I was like, where is his tail? Because they told us that they are apes, they are monkeys, they are pigs. So I wanted to make this video. So if there is some naive people there, they listen to actress and artist or singers. Don't listen to those stupid people, those people they have no education. Don't ever make those people are your best example. Go and see how horrible their life. Go and see how many of them die in drugs in a very early age. They don't live long for very simple reason, for they are stupid. After all the money and the wealth they have, still they die so early 
for very simple reason for they are stupid they worship drugs they worship stupidity they worship everything ugly like look at this guy here <laughs> Russell Brand filthy mouth this is how it is and yet they try to fool you and they say to you we are the one who is going to give you a correct answer about what's happening in Israel those are the last one who can tell you what's happening in Israel this is the land of the Jews history Islamic books the Quran Every single word, even in the Islamic books, confirm that this is the land of the Jews. And nobody has the right to take the land from the people who own it. Gaza itself is not the land of those people. This is the land of Israel. But the stupid Israeli, they give it up, seeking peace. The West Bank is not the land of the what they call themselves Palestinian. This is the land of the Jews. But the stupid Israeli, they give it out because they have a stupid liberal government. They think if we give a land, they will have peace. They will ask for more and more and more and more until they kick you and throw you in the ocean. The more you give, the more they ask for more. So don't fool yourself and don't let them fool you. We don't get our education from a bunch of child molesters. Stupid actors who have no self-respect. To themselves, to their body, to children, Hollywood is the worst place to be in and to live in. Everything run inside this filthy society by sex and money. Just last year, go and see how many of those famous names which many of you love how many of them they are a bunch of criminals are rapists and child molesters so why i want to listen to those people an actress is going to tell me what is right or stephen hawkins <laughs> he's a scientist right uh what this guy he said from a conference in israel at the request of the palestinian professor cambridge university where hawking has been uh, researched for 40 years initially claimed hawking was missing a conference medical okay i don't know this is not really i, I don't trust this here but anyway regardless who is here is telling the truth or not i mean if those people really they sponsor hamas or not don't take your knowledge not even from me if i say something to you i don't show reference and approve then don't believe me and if i show you approve investigate and check for yourself to see if this is true or not i think as a christians look what this guy he said i think as a christians Guys, I, I, want, I want to show you the, the level of intelligence of some people or education. Look what this gentleman here, he said. I don't know if it's a man or a woman. It doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm, by the way, I'm not trying to insult you. Don't, don't think this way. I'm going to show you your ignorance. This is what this gentleman said. Christians should not be involved in this issue since it is not a religious nature 
<laughs> after all what we showed you that Muslim they want to kill the Jews because they are Jews Muslim they want to kill the Christian because they are Christians the Quran says in chapter 9 verse 29 kill the Christians and the Jews for they refuse to accept Allah and Islam why when the Turkish occupy all the Middle East there was no problem because they are Muslims why when the Turkish control even Egypt Syria Iraq you name it nobody have a problem with the Turkish occupation because they are Muslims why when Saddam Hussein he bombed and he killed in one day more than 20,000 Kurdish as if they are cockroaches nobody complained from the Muslims very simple because he's a Muslim if you as an American or imagine if the Israeli is the one who did bomb the Kurdish who they are a Muslim what will happen The Muslims, they are in war with Israel, not over a land. Only stupid people think so. It is over religion. The land is not really the problem. If, if, if every single of those people who live in Israel is a Muslim Hamas will not be exist revolution will not be exist and fighters will not carry guns this is a 100% religious war one hundred percent religious war who said that this is about all the wars in the Middle East is about religion? Only the stupid donkeys, they cannot get it until now. The war in Afghanistan is because of religion. The war between Afghani and the Soviet Union because of religion. The war is happening right now in Indonesia between the Muslims and the government. It is because of religion. The war in Nigeria is because of religion. And that religion is Islam. The war in Shishania, the war in, well, you name it. It is because of religion and this religion is called Islam. And then you will find a foolish person who have no idea what he's talking about. Your fellow Christian, Palestinian, my friend, they have their rights in Israel. They are equal. They have their churches open and they get equal rights. What happened to them? Why you don't question what happened to the Christians in Egypt, in Syria, in Iraq? I wish I live in Israel as a Christian, as an Arab Christian. What will happen to me? They will arrest me because I'm a Christian? Our churches are open. We have health insurance the same as any Jew. We can be a member in the parliament, even if you are a Muslim. Go and see how many Muslim are a member in the parliament. Why well, you are a hypocrite? Even even the Arab who live under Israel, the Muslims, if you ask them, do you like to live under Hamas? They will say no way. That's the truth. That is the truth. My friend, there is nothing is called Catholic, African, American. Those are not Catholic, and those are not African, and those are not American. Those are a bunch of donkeys. 
who uh, who are the those who they are your celebrity why you are seeing Catholic there is a stupid people who promote the propaganda propaganda of Hamas from those who call themselves Protestant isn't it George Bush is a Protestant who says Islam mean peace it was he a Catholic huh hello was Obama a Catholic was Berlusconi a Catholic was Sarkozy those people they are liberals they don't care for religion those people they have no God save money sex and power and they are willing to lie as much as they can Nobody want to tell you the truth. For the truth is very dangerous. But I know that some people, they like the idea of attacking the Catholic. Isn't it the Pope? Before this one, he said, Muhammad, he brought nothing but evil. Isn't it? The devil, my friend, always try to divide us. I am not a Catholic, but don't say a lie. Actually, nobody saved Europe from Islam as much as the Catholic. And this is the truth. are they fight against israeli also i don't know maybe there is some of them they do because they are brainwashed if you live between if you live if you live in a school and you are a child i was a child i was a child in the middle east all day long the jews are pigs the jews are monkeys the jews are our enemy we should kill the jews so what do you expect me to be even if i am a christian but because i'm a person who don't believe in copy paste I was different since my childhood once a Muslim teacher in my school he said to me why you are uh, why you are saying because I said this is but but the Quran says that this is the land of the Jews he said what's wrong with you what's wrong with you why you are defending the Jew isn't it the Jews who killed your God I said to him, I thought they did not because the Quran said they did not. <laughs> See, now he wanted me to believe that Jesus was killed by the Jew. Suddenly, suddenly he don't he don't want me to believe that Jesus was not killed. Just because he want me to hate the Jews. Now somebody there guys I don't like stupid talk I don't like stupid talk I hate it the Catholic they pray to Mary you idiot the Catholic they quote what the Bible says to Mary the angels they spoke to Mary and the Catholic they say Mary pray for us didn't I say pray for me guys pray for us she pray too why you are stupid why what's wrong with people Honest to God, some people they have a brain is made for a chickens. If the Catholic they say, Oh Mary, pray for us, the Bible is full of phrases like this. Peter, he prayed for Paul, Paul, he prayed for Peter, we pray for each other. What's wrong with that? The Catholic don't pray for Mary, they ask Mary to pray for them. Stop your stupidity. You grow up in a church dividing us, teaching you to hate the Catholic, for your church is following Allah. And that can be found in the Quran. 
if we go in chapter 4 chapter 5 verse 14 we see the plan of Allah for the Christians read it and whoever divide the Christians doesn't matter from what a church if you are a Catholic and you teach something against the Protestant you are a stupid stupid idiot and if you are a Catholic teach about the Protestant or a Protestant teach like you have nothing to do with the Christ you are following the faith of Allah this is Allah plan in front of your eyes from those who call themselves a Christians we did take a covenant but they forgot a good part of the message that we sent to them so we string them with the enmity and hatred between one to the other to the day of judgment that is the devil a person who belonged to Jesus he been ordered even to love his enemy you, don't, you cannot even love a Catholic person I've been ordered to love my enemy even if it's a Muslim who want to kill me but you cannot you see you you play many of you you play the same as the cult of Islam the Catholic are kuffar and the Catholic they say all oh, the Protestant are kuffar stupid you are the same as Taliban both of you this is not a Christianity Jesus said whoever believe in me and die will live whoever both of you believe in the father the son the holy spirit both of you believe in the cross both of you believe that he will come back both of you believe that there is no salvation but by him but you decide to follow a filthy priest who is doing a business and the business need to the division because how i'm going to convince you to come to my church otherwise you might go to the other church Each time I say what I just said, some people, they go to the donation website and they stop donating for me. I don't want your donation. Take it. I am not for sale. I will not let the devil buy me just to get your stupid money. I am not for sale. Catholic, Protestant Orthodox they have one Lord his name is the Messiah and we are brothers and sisters and Anyone want to divide us he is working for the devil as you see in the front of you in the screen Ask yourself if Jesus saw the Christians and he see us right now I was as we speak Divided like this how he will feel about it how he will feel about me Insulting my brother in Christ not only that, some of those donkeys, I call them donkeys because they are, even they, they, they start deciding who will go to heaven and who will go to hell. Oh, you are a Protestant, you will go to hell. Oh, you are a Catholic, you will go. Who are you? Who are you to send people to hell and to heaven? You yourself, you are a sinner. You yourself, you are a fraud. Repent my fellow Christians my brothers and sisters repent and don't don't follow the devil Jesus want us to love each other Even to love the enemy Don't follow anyone who will divide you Division is not from God the Bible says there is no Greek. There is no Hebrew. It doesn't matter who you are all of us we are one by him so don't be stupid i hope my message is so clear every word in islamic religion confirm that this land is the land of the jews as we showed you in the front of your eyes we are not quoting the yellow pages of the Jews. We are quoting what the Muslim considered the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran, as Muslims decor it, however, the Quran never says it's holy. That this is the land of the Jews, which Allah He assigned to Musa's people. And Allah He is the one who ordered to kill the Palestinian, but yet those Palestinians are not the Arab who live in Gaza right now.
if you ask a Muslim why Allah in the Quran says you can kill the Palestinian at that time he says oh at that time they were not Muslim so it's okay you see the hypocrisy it's okay to kill the Palestinians if they are not Muslims this is the point having guy I don't I don't go I don't care if you grow up as a Catholic or you grow up as a zucchini none of my business don't come again to my chat and talk about Catholic and Protestant you have no place here for me if you do that guys is that clear I grew up as a Catholic I grew up as a cucumber I grew grow up whatever you want who care what do you know about Catholic nothing what do you know about process nothing because if you grow up as a Catholic you will know that the Catholic don't pray to Mary they ask Mary to pray for them this is not praying to Mary the Catholic don't believe that Mary is God I grew up as a Zaraf my neck was long but my head was small however I was very good to work for the CIA because I can spy at any window use your brain get out of here man look at this donkey man he keeps saying to me are you a Catholic how many times I said I am NOT a Catholic get out of here don't ever come again here I'm done with donkeys I don't want to be Catholic I don't want to be a Protestant I don't want to be Orthodox I am a follower of a name and there's no better name than him to follow only donkeys they follow titles only donkeys they follow priest I follow my Lord his name is Jesus the Christ the Messiah and there's no name better than his name down in earth or up in heaven you follow a priest you are stupid please is a corrupt man I am a sinner why you want to follow me have you ever heard of a man is not a sinner have you ever heard of a woman is not a sinner why you want to follow them because you are stupid follow the one who never betray the one who never change the one who is always and he was holy anyone else you follow you are just a stupid idiot if you are really a christian don't say you see like uh, in america when you say i'm a christian people they understand that you are saying i am a protestant no this is our name given to us in the bible for all of us this is a name for the Catholic, for the Protestant, for the Orthodox. It doesn't matter who you are. Unless you are a person who don't believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. You have a different book like the Mormon. This is a different story. Or Jehovah's Witnesses. And look how the devil tried to divert us from our topic. From speaking about Hamas and Gaza and the terrorism of the filthy Muhammad. To speaking about the Catholic I will not be surprised if this guy he is a Muslim trying to divert us from our topic be aware of false prophets who come to you in the clothes of a sheep but they are wolves and they will come between us and they will claim to be Protestants. so and they will say something to the Catholic and the Catholics start fighting because there's many are stupid they fail into the trap very easy the devil is powerful and he want to divide you but I am not the one to be fooled the land of Israel is the land of Israel and the Quran witness for that the hadith of Muhammad witness for that every single letter in the books of muslims witness for that every page in my bible witness for that every page in history witness for that so who are they those people who call themselves hamas those are the arab invasion who came and invade that land and now they claim it and they want to take it 
That is the truth. This is why you as a Christian, if you are a truly a Christian, you should support Israel. Not because they are Jews. Not because it is against the Muslims, but because this is the land of the Jews. Every letter in your book witness for that. Mr. Kurdi, Mr. Kurdi saying he's an atheist. Well, if there is God, why he let things horrible to this earth? Well, because there is God, he gave you freedom. You see, you see how how, how the mentality, how, how funny sometimes of a human being. If God he made us like a robot, then you will complain. You will say, This God he made me like a robot. When God he gave you freedom to do good or evil, you complain too. So it doesn't matter what God does, you will complain. How come my God says, love your enemy? What's wrong with that? So the problem is a human doing bad, not because God, he let bad to happen. It's your choice. This is why there is heaven and there is hell. There is reward and there is a punishment. Anyway, I hope my answer is very clear. Please feel free to download my videos and share it with your friends. And if you'd like to contact me, you have my my uh, contact in the screen. You can contact me either in Patreon or in Minds.com. You can post there under the text. I will see it. Uh, but it's better. It's better uh, if you have a question to talk to me here. All right? Now, there is something, one last thing before we go. Don't take what people say to you for granted, including me. Research, study, be a smart person. Christian Prince, he says to you, this verse is about the Jews. What if he's lying? Yeah, it says Moses is there, but what he is lying? The appearance, it might be this way, but it might be not what the Muslims believe. Go and check it out. Go and check the interpretation for it, and you will see this is exactly what I was saying. Don't take what people say to you for granted, for there is many liars. There is a war today is about controlling the brains. Who want to control your brain? And this is the point of the media. The media does not exist for entertainment, as many people think. The media is about controlling your brain. All what the media is about, how I can convince you that this is the right thing. And if you want to see what the media is doing to your society, go and ask your son to speak two words together without saying the F word. Go and see what they teach your child in a school. Then you will understand what is the media about. The media is not a TV only, it's a school. It's a principal, it's a teacher, it's a movie, it's a game. All those things are making something in you of you, and sometimes it's a scary. What do you see? You watch the news, you see people dying in their cars. A child is calling the police in the morning, my dad and my mom is not waking up because they are dead because they took overdose. Because the liberals and the media, they told them you should be free. Don't listen to the government. Smoke, have sex, take drugs. Life is short, enjoy it. Be open-minded. Open-minded? Yes. So if somebody wanna sleep with my wife, is that okay? Yeah, why not? And then you open-minded, you find yourself in the age of a 25 or sometime even earlier in an open grave.
because the media made out of you a snowman who have a carrot in his nose but inside his brain is too white there's nothing you became a slave of a stupidity imagine lesbian they are striking to support Islam lesbian the Muslim they want to kill the lesbian they want to kill the gays I mean how stupid madness sometimes it's hard to believe how stupid a human being become they lost their sense nobody want to use his brain however how you can use something you don't have You cannot use it unless you have it. Watch your TV station and see who is there in this TV station. He he have the brain. Even the news became a show. You open the TV station to see a news. You find the four girls wearing short, short skirt and their breast is coming out. And almost their nipples is going to shake hands with you. What is the news in the news? There's no news. I want to say thank you guys for being here. And I hope we cover most important things in this broadcast. And tomorrow we will be here around 4.30 p.m. For sure, if I can, but mostly I will. Until I see you tomorrow, I say, may the Lord bless you and keep you in good health and wealth. And the most important, to keep your brain functioning right. Because a human being without his brain is nothing. Train your brain. If you don't lose it, you lose it. Use it. Stupid brain simply is a brain is not being used. It's lazy. You learn just to copy paste whatever it says to you, we take it. Think for yourself. Be a smart person. Don't let someone, even including me, to 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 direct you where to go. God gave you a gift. You better use it. And one day you will be questions for not using that gift may the lord bless you all and christ is lord and islam is false and israel is the land of the jews you like it or you don't liberals you like it or you don't muslims you like it or you don't fascist this is the land of the jews and nobody can change that thank you and god bless Bye-bye.